Oh, sorry guys, didn't see you there. In the last episode, we were just going through some trainers, and now we're headed to a boat going to Dorner Island. So we're just going straight to the captain of the ship here, I guess. Oi, there, I'm Derek, the ferryman of the Dorner Island. I was told by Regal to take up bio research to the island. That must be you. Do you see that beauty over there? I do see that beauty over there. How gorgeous. Just look at her, glistening in the sun. She'll take us across the waves. We'll be at Dorner Island before you know it. All right, I guess. Are you ready to set sail? Anchors away. All right, I hope you don't get seasick. We're just gonna walk through. Okay, I see you. I like how this old man down there is just doing some fishing while we're just heading out to another place. Here we are, all safe and sound thanks to my wonderful ship. Beautiful, awesome dude. You're looking for Nicola and Thomas Wright? They operate the buzzlet lab in the center of the island. Oh, and in case you want to ride back, just let me know. I'll be right there. All right, <laughs> I like how you pull out the umbrella. Can I understand underneath with you, man? Can I? Please, please? Okay. Well, first off, let's grab this chest here. Can't miss it. A cocoa, cuckoo, surf fruit. Man, I love how they give you multiple, ample amount of items. And we got a phone message from Mirren. Go to our items here and just quickly see what he has to say. Hopefully some loving stuff, of course. Hey, Ocelot. I found some more interesting books for you at the library. Um, yes. Drop by when you can. Well, you tell me that before I left? The son of a gun. Although, I do have the transport right here. I won't use it now, no need. But I do need to go heal up my Koromon. So, let's just do that very quickly here. The spam of a button, I'll be done. My goal for these videos, folks, I'm actually gonna try to catch one new Koromon each episode. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that because that's the goal for every one of these episodes. Of course, to the end where I'm gonna be finishing it up. But I think it's a nice little stipulation just to continue doing that, right? It's fun for me at least. All right, so I'm assuming this is the lab. I might be wrong though. Is this the lab? Buzzlet lab, perfect. Are you the person we talk to? In this lab, we make battery packs for areas in Velva that have no electricity. I love spreading positive energy. Same dude. You're here! I thought you were one of the weirdos Thomas talked about on the phone. That could be anywhere. At the docks? In the Thunder's Cave? We're not safe anymore. Calm down for a moment. Can you tell me what's going on? Yes, you're right. Breathe in. Count to four. My dear partner and colleague Thomas. He was being chased. To get away, he had to lock himself in the fuse room deep within the cave. I will go search for him myself, but I'm not exactly qualified to battle Wild Koromon. I'm lost. I don't know what to do anymore. Well, luckily for you, don't worry, I'm a battle researcher. I can go there for you. Really? That would mean the world to me. But the Thunderous Cave is a dark, dangerous place. Hmm, you got an idea for me? Let me help you prepare. You'll need the helmet with an integrated light. Otherwise, you'll surely get lost in the darkness. Sweet! Some gear. And also take some of these combi cakes. And a stinky scent. I do greatly appreciate it. I don't use these often, so I should really utilize them more. Thanks. The entrance to the cave is in the beach. You can't miss it. Good luck. Thank you, Nicola. Oh my gosh. Okay, that scared me, actually. I'm assuming this is not the place. These are probably some Koromon here. Actually, he just told me where the place was, and I completely forgot. All right. Please hurry to get some safe. Okay, frigate. Let's go. I'm assuming it's outside. They wouldn't be in a lab, per se. Okay. Let's grab this quickly, actually. More Komi cakes. I don't know if there's a certain weight limit. And that Jabba fruit. I had a feeling, like, I saw that castle there. I'm like, you know what? You never know. That one didn't have one. I see the cave there. I'm pretty excited to do this, actually, because I'm going to be quite honest with you. When you're going on adventures, like, such as this one, you get a little sense of, like, eeriness. And I want to catch a new Koromon. I can't go up there. I guess I have to go through another way. This way, I assume. I have two options. Let's go right. There is a chest here, though. We'll take it for sure. HP cake. I'll take it. Um, so far, no Koromon has attacked me. And as I say that, another one has shown up. Easy does it. Simple as that. And I get a level up here. Buzzy grew to level 14. Double sting. Two quick successive stings. Strike the target. Each dealing damage. This attack always goes first. It's like a quick attack. I'll take it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. Actually, it looks like we can't go there just yet either, so let's go straight. This is a trainer. I just redeemed my gauntlet coupon. I already fell this new bling making me stronger. Shane, come on, leave me alone, man. Why are you doing in the middle of this? You don't even have, like, any helmet. How can you see down here? All right, from previous experience, an armado is weak to water-type Koromons. With that being said, we have here 
at Nibblegar, aka Chico, aka my actual life cat's name, out here with two different types of water abilities. We'll use the spade spurts. Should take it down, shouldn't be too much of a problem. I thought it was super effective, I take that back. I thought it was weak to water. Nonetheless, it still did a lot of damage and I think I'm gonna go first again here. And it's out like that. No biggie. I'll take it too. We want to level up Chico a little bit more. He is the strongest of the bunch in our squad, meaning that I would like for it to be stronger and stronger as we continue forward with this area. Ahundus. Never seen this Coromon before. This is super effective to me, so this is kind of what sucks. But we do have something to neglect some of that damage only the first time. That being said, if it does it again, it will hurt a little bit more. Um, see, this is a problem. You can see some of my core mods are actually pretty weak. So actually, we'll go again. I'll use Faint Spurs again this time, though. It might be different. Maybe the damage is a little bit more with the special attack. We'll see. I'm not sure. We'll definitely give it a shot. Uh, it did do less damage. It is not as strong. Let's go Chomp here. Volt Lake. Yeah, we're done here. Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought Volt Lake. I saw the word Volt and immediately went to... Oh, yeah, it's going to hurt a lot more. Um... I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna send out Powder Pit. From the previous episode, what I learned is that even if a Coromon does faint in battle, and if you end up, you know, defeating that Coromon, you end up getting the XP given to the Coromon that he already fainted. Meaning, if it levels up, it actually comes back full health, which is extremely new to me. I love the mechanic. I'm not sure if this is the same case in a harder difficulty, because I'm not playing hard difficulty. I'm just playing on normal difficulty. I don't want to be stressed out trying to figure out what's the best moves, what's the best Coromon. But although if you do have suggestions and how to continue moving forward, how to utilize my Coromons a little more, let me know down in the chat. I'm more than happy to look at that. I'll definitely reply to you. I do appreciate it. Looks like he weighed in his potential stats. Here, I'm actually going to increase more on my attack and my special attack. I'll leave the others later. Fiddly. Ooh, got some water pouring down on us. I'm not sure if this is a strong Quaramon. This is the first time I'm seeing this one as well. Love the animation for that. Doesn't do as much damage. So what's the case for this Quaramon? I like to figure out what's the deal with them. Like what's their weakness, what's their strength. I'm not sure if that's a super effective move. It looks like it hurts a lot. And we're going down for the count. Why not? Hatterpit did defeat one of the other Quaramons. I can't be too worried about that. This might be a weird technique. But these core months will go down swing. I mean, it's level five, right? It's, it's done right now. My idea is that even if it faints, it'll still get the XP, and more likely it will level up on the next, I guess, XP burst they'll get because they are lower and weaker core months. I'll use a fast strike here. As I look at the damage it did, it absolutely did nothing. And Birdie took a critical hit to the face. Good night, Birdie. Whatever. Like I said, the reason why is because I want to set up these core months. I want them to do damage. I want them to actually give me some more XP. Okay, it did a little bit more damage. It's very effective. It doesn't look effective, but mostly because of these defense boosts. Like, because of the fact that it has defense boost, obviously this chomp is a standard attack, but it's effective nonetheless. Okay, I was going to say, I'm not sure if he's fully rested, but Chico is fully rested. He took a nap. He's back at it. Critical hit on the last one, I think. It's still not very effective. Okay. This should take it out, I think. Awesome, perfect. So we leveled up here. Easy does it. Birdie, like I said, grew to level seven. Electric key got to level six as well. So that means they come back again and they're alive. It didn't make me stronger at all. Poor Shane. Sorry, Shane. Sorry. Okay. Anyways, so we only can go straight here. And we have two options again. There's a Coromon trainer over there, but I'm gonna go here. I did see a chest bottom of that area. All right, easy does it. Like I said, I want to grab the chests. I got a Lux Recall, which we did use one in one of the previous episodes. There is another chest down here, I believe. Um, there is, actually. I didn't even notice this one down here before. I'll take it. I was actually wondering if I use a scent. Will it do much? Probably not. It's probably a waste of a scent. Because they do... Yeah, they, it's a waste of a scent. Scent is essentially just going through grass. You use it on the patch of grass you're standing on, and it disappears. Anyways, be right back, folks. Okay. Like I was saying, never mind. Okay, finally, we can actually face this Coromon trainer. I've heard rumors there's a rare Coromon up ahead. I should prepare. Is there now? Thanks for the heads up, buddy. Four freaking Coromons? Okay, a Drupal. What the frick? Okay, whatever. Let's just use immediately here, use Double Sting. Double Sting does go first, as what it mentioned in the description. Not very effective. What the hell? My gosh. That looks extremely disgusting. Okay, let's try something else. Use Venom and Spees here. Okay. Luckily, we are pretty quick in terms of speed. So, meaning I think we're okay. Found a weak spot. Let's just use Slam. I'm trying to figure out what's his weakness. Again, this doesn't do as much damage, if anything, since it's... Oh, it's poisoned. Um, I'm just gonna attack it. 
Oh, I finally attacked. Okay. That's a lot of damage, actually. All right. Drupal is down for the count. Let's see what's going on next. Show me, buddy. Show me, Sky. What do you got? We're almost level 16 with Buzzy here. Ooh, this thing again. Let's try to go with a Venomous Bees here. And since I'm pretty slow, it might take me out. Again, I think this is not the bad play because I think... No, I think... Oh, he's fast strike. I was going to say, I should go first. Oh, that's the move. That was the move. Perfect. Critical hit too. Let's go. Okay, next one. I'll level up. That means I'm full of health. And we got to level up. We also got potential that went up too in the last fight I encountered. The wild fight, I should say. So we established that this Coromon be a little bit of a problem for us. For Buzzy especially. So what I'm going to do is sting it. I'm going to try to do a quick attack here. Well, I, I say quick attack, but double sting is a quick attack. And this might take me out depending how many times it hits me. Okay, two times. And it got poisoned. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually... I changed my mind. I'm gonna go to the squad and take out a weak Coromon, Electric Key. Why? Again, level it up, try and get all that juicy XP for each and every Coromon if I can. Personally, with these type of games, what I like to do is I'm very careful about leveling up multiple Coromons at once. With that being said, I like to make sure that each of them gets their fair share. I know so far it seems like I got more Coromons that are higher level than most, but that's because I'm just making sure I have some that are ready to fight stronger Coromons at the time. These are weaker. But they'll get a lot more XP. Potential has been awoken. Again, I don't think this Quarmon's gonna get much fighting if it faces off another trainer, another level up. So this is good for me. It helps me move up forward. It keeps my Quarmons in check. And we are good for the next fights. So it's level 11. What I'm gonna do is actually I'm just gonna go straight to Powder Pit. I believe Powder Pit can take on this Quarmon. We did face it before. Not a big deal, not a huge threat. Nothing special. I'm looking forward to the Quarmons that evolve. I think it'll be cooler. I do like some of these designs, I must say. I'm always a sucker for cool designs, and some of these Cormons are pretty cool looking. And some of them are cute. I did not mean to press the peelers, but we'll, we'll use it anyways. This identifies the weak spot. Okay, concentrates. So let's be honest, I probably just increased his attack, if anything. Critical hit, my apologies. Ah, uh, let's just hit a slam here. You must know that I don't mind if... Oh, it has a fruit. I was gonna say, I don't mind if any of these Cormons go down, because over time, hopefully, it actually doesn't go down, but... If it does go down, it's not a big deal. Okay, so what I was actually going to do is I switch out to another Cormon. Birdie here. In case my Powder Pit does fall and doesn't level up, I don't want it to go down completely. Although Birdie and all these other Cormons, they are very weak. So I need them to just level up as many times as possible. Scratch. Birdie just stands. But I'm going to go with Chico here. Guess try and spread the love of these XP. Try and spread them. Although I'm not sure if the more Cormons you send out within a battle, I'm actually happy about. Does it divide the XP amongst all of them, or does it actually give them all the same XP you would if it was only one Cormon taking out one Cormon? But, I don't know. But my squad is stronger. What I'm going to quickly do, actually, is I notice my Cormons are a little bit weak. If I press the right buttons, we'll go here, and we'll just switch them out. We'll just give them a little quick switch. Um, I'm going to use items. I won't be stingy. I'll use it. That's the reason why we have HP cakes. We actually use them. Alright, so, let's go forward. Oh, I was going to say, I don't know why I couldn't go down. I just click on this. This is why we have the hat now. I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm just going based off what I can see in front of me. All right, see what's going on over here. There is this. We'll take that. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot of goodies. Is this the right way, though? Never mind. Can I go up here? That could have been just for one chest, so I'm just going to keep going then. There's another location I can take, so I'm going to go take that location. Komi cakes there. Um, let's double check again. I did realize that some of my Coromons are looking pretty bad. But what I'm going to do is actually send out Chico. And when I send out Chico, I'm going to be able to send out probably another Coromon to take its place after we send out Chico, right? Okay. Well, after that fight, Chico almost went down. So let's just give him another HP health. Perfect. I know our Pad is down, but we can also give it some health. I just, to be honest, I did not know that. I just got lucky. I clicked on it by accident. It looks like it can heal from zero. Didn't know that. I think I've been in the cave for too long. Did I just see a blue person running by? Maybe some exercise will help me clear my head. Are you okay, dude? Owan has two Coromon. A sand scale? Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, that's a freaky looking Coromon. And it's faster. And it has chomp, meaning it's effective. I'm not sure if this will be effective, but I think it could be. And I think I'm right. So what I'm gonna do, uh, just given the fact that I'm pretty sure if Chico takes another chomp, it will go down, but I'm sure if we destroy the sand scale, I think we'll be okay for the next fight. Chico will level up by then. Uh, here, Propeller Punch. Pyramid did waken its potential. 
meaning I was able to pit some into speed. I pit three into speed actually, all of it. So this should level up the powder pit, which is good. It levels up and heals up all the way. And Chico should be fine here. Like I said, perfect. This is huge. Especially if there's a huge looking, scary looking Cormon waiting for me at the end. Spooky, if you will. Let's just continue with this propeller punch. I didn't see how much damage it did. Uh, seven. I've seen better. It knocked down. So let's just go quickly to, to Chico. I mean, Chico's ability is very effective, and I think next time I hit it, it will actually take it out with the faint spurt. So we'll just do that. No big deal. Simple does it. And we also fully rested. Thankfully, it has that great, because that would hurt a lot so much. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. That was quick. Thank you for having two core months that I have a core month to counter it. Yes, feeling much more focused already. Well, I'm glad you are more focused, Owen. I'm glad I could be the person to do that for you. Moving forward now, just going down here. Uh, there's something to the right there. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we were told that we can use this and, and take it down. Please tell me I'm right. Let's try this out. One second. There we go. I was gonna say, am I that like dense? Oh, we got some static spinners. I wonder if it's a better spinner for certain Cormon. I'm just gonna double check. Okay, we're good. I wasn't sure how I was gonna approach this. Uh, I can push that. Looks like I'm pushing it. Okay. Oh, it's just a one-time movement. Okay, fair enough. Looks like that's what it's supposed to be for. There's nothing here, nothing there. Let's go down here. A chest. Please be more cakes. Colby cakes. All right. Oh, there we go. Our first Cormon bottle down here. Ooh, a home disc. Let's try to capture this one. I'll let this one play out so you guys can see this. Let's hopefully we can capture this. Uh, we already established that any water abilities don't do much damage. I'm assuming, now I'm really, I am assuming here that this Cormon is some sort of water Cormon, but I do see this tail. Kind of shows me like some sort of lightning rod, etc. I'm not sure. So let's try to capture it. What is going on? Let's try to use a spinner here. Uh, more effective spinner, nah. Spinner designed to effectively catch normal types. I don't know what type of Cormon that is. I thought it was Thunder, but it could be Thunder actually. It absorbs water attacks. Actually, that could be a very well, yeah. I caught it. Let's go. Perfect, guys. All right, what do we name this? What do we name this? What do we name this? Um, let's name this, uh, two, I don't know, two, two. I don't freaking know. It's a bad name. Sue me, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what else to do. Milestone achieved as well. Anyways, we can go forward. We got a new Coromon. Welcome to the party, Tutu. I'm going to put it first. Try to get some more XP. Uh, that log is in my way. And we also got a new Coromon, so I'll be right back, folks. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Come on, come on. Oh, no! Why? All right, let's just go forward. Another Coromon trainer. How are we looking here? Um, let's quickly change powder pit out for the Tutu. Don't want to get slapped around by someone that has probably full health. Cormons. Hey, how can I help you? Go to the Thunderous Cave, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Is it not fun? Are you scared? Oh, are you scared? Whatever. Amino. Didn't pick the right Cormon for this fight. As you can see, the Amino is glowing right in its back, meaning it is a fire type Cormon. As much as I want to throw Chico out there, I think Powder Pit is more than capable of taking it out. The Twilight got me, guys. Whatever that is, I don't know why it does that. I don't know if it's due to these certain Cormons that have it. And maybe, oh well, we're also underground, so that could do it. And it's gone though. Very simple. Next. And we level up. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So I think next up is a Cormon that I've never seen before. I completely lied. I've seen this a couple of times already. Pain in the butt. Looking scary. Looking aggressive. But I think we're okay. Poison Sting. That's super effective. Okay, I was going to say, it's both. Jeez. It's just a critical. And we missed. All right, lovely. Well, I was gonna say I was gonna let this play out, but we got something that actually helps us. That's actually very convenient that we have it for that Coromon. I remember just attaching random stuff to our Coromons just so that you never know if they need it. And look at that, Hydro Pit needed it. What are the odds? What are the odds? Frig that drain ability. I don't like drain abilities. Actually, let's do double sting. I'm not sure if this is effective. It is pretty strong. I'll do it again. Why not? Even though it needs one hit. I don't want to risk it. Let's just do another one of these. And it's gone like that. Easy does it. Fight was super simple. Any trainer with like three or less Coromon, I think it's very doable to take out. It doesn't seem like it's very tough. Especially if you have like multiple Coromons on your side, right? Anyways, Miles is done. Lost in the cave. Lost in a battle. Very poetic, Miles. Very poetic. I want to go to the left quickly. Hey, finally someone with a light. Give me that worker home. 
Oh man, I, okay. The reason why I was kind of very slow to say that is because I don't feel like we're ready to take on another set of Coromon. I'm gonna say thankfully this Coromon is not too bad. I fought one already in the wild, but I am okay with the fact that this trainer only has two Coromon. If it had like four Coromon, I would feel a little bit more worried. So this is okay for me. Um, I'm gonna leave this out here. Okay, never mind. I thought it was just a one-time use ability. Turns out it was a two-hitter. Whatever, that's fine. So it is Thunder. Um, I don't really have anything that can counter it right now, I don't think. Let's try this, though. Um, I'm loving the ability Double Sting. It does so much damage. Like that, perfect. Our speed is decreased beyond belief now, but one of the two core months is gone. And we gain a lot of XP. And we'll probably get potential soon. And our Pad Pit leveled up. Perfect. Factory reset, reset to default, reverting all of your user stats changes. That's a new one. Kind of crazy, because what if like one of the Coromons gets like a lot of attack? Oh, this is a scary looking Coromon. That's so cool though. What the heck? Oh my gosh, critical hit. Okay, and it's not very effective. Okay, let's use Venomous Bees. This may be the very effective one, and it's not. Definitely not. This move is not effective, so I'm not concerned. I'm going to use Slam as my next ability. If it doesn't get poisoned, I'll just go straight to another Venomous Bees. Never mind, it got poison. Um, so what I'm gonna do, squad, go look at the squad, throw out these weaklings. They will take one hit and probably perish, but at least we can level them up though. I'm not sure if this is even effective. It might take it out, might not, we'll know. It doesn't take it out, but it suffers from poisoning. What I will do though, I'll just leave it out, toughen up, try to see if I can withstand one more hit. If so, it gets poisoned again. It uses voodoo. This is a probably one time hit. That's a weird looking ability. Ooh, that's weird. I'm suffering from poison. Oh, it's suffering. Oh yeah, what am I saying? It's suffering from poison. Slam. Oh, it needs more SP. Okay. I like the mechanic too. You can't just continue using SP. You have to like, you know, make sure you're careful with what you have because eventually you lose enough SP where you have to like just sit back on a turn. Unless you have like cakes, I guess, SP cakes. You're completely fine in that case, but who knows? This shouldn't be effective either. This is a flying type after all, yes. And it's suffering from poison. It's a three ticker. Before it used to be two tick, fast strike. It might not take it out, but it'll be enough to do some damage, I think. And next time it hits me, I shouldn't be able to withstand this. Oh, never mind. I was able to. It's okay. It's gone. That's a cool looking Coromon, though. I must admit, that's a really cool looking Coromon. Birdie does level up, meaning it's full health again. And we should also have another Coromon. Yep. Buzzy. So here, I'm actually going to go special attack maybe one more. And then I want more speed. And a pit one and SP, why not? Why? Because it is gonna be my one of my core mods I like to use. It's not fair. The light was in my eyes. That's a good excuse. I do have a helmet. It's kind of hard to see. All right, Tutu's not feeling dizzy anymore. Where am I headed to? It's hard to tell where I'm going, to be honest with you. Like, I'm just following a path that I can't take. All right, we're good to go. Let's just go down here. Again, I'm not sure what path I'm taking. So luckily for you guys, with the power of some editing, you won't see everything that's going on because this would be somewhat of a pain in the butt because I'm not even sure where I'm going to. What the heck is a potent? I saw the top right, it said potent. At first I was like, what does that even mean? Do I capture this thing? I'm gonna try to capture it. That's the first for me. I've never seen a Cormon with potent before. I heard there's like some sort of like shinies in this one, right? So I might go for a shiny or two if I can find one. I'm gonna use a common device here. This is intriguing, i never seen a potent. I was looking at it, I was like, at first I thought it was a shiny. I'm like, why is there something glowing at it? So I took a long pause and I'm like, wait, cool. Yes, uh, let's call it Armadillo because I keep calling it Armadillo. So, uh, replace the squad with member, send a Cormon. Okay, let's send it to the storage. We'll look at that later. Please let me know. I might search it up myself. So sorry if I'm asking you to comment a lot, but if I do see what's a potent, I'm definitely gonna look more into it though. It's new to me. Um, can't go there. I can go up here though. All this for a chest. A little bit of a unfortunate mishap though, because our Cormons are looking pretty weak, but you know, it is what it is. We'll just keep going down then. Looks like it was all that for a chest, but that's okay. All right, let's keep going down here. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna push this a couple times. I have to do that. Okay, I can push it all the way. I was actually worried that I might get stuck down here, but we are good to go. Anything here? Um, as much as I wanna go down there, I go down there a little bit later. There might be a reason why. Oh, uh, yeah, we're good to fight this guy. Okay. This place is filled with battle researchers complaining about the darkness. I hope you're a bit more tough. I mean, I'm here now. I'm, I'm a bit more tough. I'm more than tough, man. You got an armadillo with you. We're fine. We can take it out. We already have one. We actually sent a potent armadillo to, well, I guess 
we put it away, right? I don't know where it goes, but it goes somewhere. So hopefully this battle is not too bad. It should be too bad. We fought multiple trainers right down here. We withstand some of the toughest trainers. This place has to offer. Nothing can beat us. We are strong. We are good to go. And we're leveling up a lot down here. I'm actually very thankful that we are down here leveling up because I actually thought at one point that I wasn't going to be able to take care of some of the stronger Coromons. That's an interesting looking move. Uh, lovely. Whatever. Um, but... Turns out we're actually in good hands because some of their core months are getting stronger. I do say that I look at my core months and they're not as strong as I want them to be, but it's not a big deal. I think we can withstand this core mod and then switch out when we need to. This one will go down, I think. I'm not sure if it's going to be this one or the next. No, it's bleeding. Okay. I was actually worried about that. But we can take this core mod out here and then we'll see what's up next because I'm not sure what the next one is. I'm getting somewhat familiar with some of these Cormons. So like when you see one, you get an understanding, oh yeah, that's Cormon is weak to this or that, you know? Oh man, as I say that, I don't remember this one. Um, I want to say Chomp or something, was, but I'm not sure. I'm going to go with Buzzy. I do remember with Buzzy, we were able to use like Double Sting and did a lot of damage. So we'll do it again here. I think it will do a lot of damage. Not as lot as I thought, but hey, it's better than nothing. We'll just take it out though because it can go three times. As I said that, darn it. I wasn't expecting that. I thought we can withstand the two hit, but I wasn't expecting a third one. So we're just going to electric key here. Oh, it's going to go down for the count already, isn't it? Oh, one time. Okay. I'll take any damage. I don't think electric key is going to withstand this next one though. Yeah. Poor guy. You've been useful. You at least hit it once. All right. Well, I was going to actually go with Chico. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to press an electric key there. So we're just going to go straight for this faint spurts. Just go. Just go. Perfect. Not very effective. Did still a lot of damage though. Pretty surprised about that. Come on, level up. Damn it. I want some of them to level up. Please level up. Oh no. Okay, electricity level up though. Taser sent adult electricity through the target, which will cause chalk. We have gotten taste before. The darkness messed my decision making. No fair. Yes, fair. You had two strong core ones. My core ones are super weak. All right, let's quickly go to our items. Just grab some items here. Uh, I'm just gonna use all these cakes, really. Um, I'm looking pretty weak, but I think we're okay though. I think we can still withstand some of this. And a quick save never hurts, right? There we go. Let's keep going. Ah, that's what it was. Oh, you son of a gun. Ugh. I'm actually mad at that chest. I'm not getting it. I'm mad at that chest. Okay, looks like I can't push from here, right? Let's just double check. Yeah, I can't push from there. Okay, I have to go the other way around. Okay, perfect. Noted. Like, we're gonna go here. Um, there's two options. Oh, there's only one option. I'm saying. Okay, we have to push it this way only. Uh, we have to push it twice, it seems like. I think so. Or thrice. Oh, that's a trainer. Okay. Boo! Ha! 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 You got me. You freaking got me, Tamria. Okay, we're on the best in terms of our hormones being strong and healthy. Now, the thing is, is that I don't have many HP cakes. So I'm not looking as good as I once was when I walked in here. I'm surprised I was able to take that hit and still somehow move forward. I got poison. Lovely. I had no SP, had no health. It's fine. It, it did what it had to do. Here, I'm going to do is take out Chico. I'm really hoping Chico can withstand a hit here. Or if you can go first, that'll be even better. Ignore pain. That's actually not too bad. And it's good. Okay. Toxic skin. That thing has toxic skin all the time. Super annoying. Okay, whatever. That's fine. We do level up here. Why is it quiet all of a sudden? What the heck? Oh, Chico's evolving? Are you serious? Holy crap. <laughs> this is so sick. What the heck? I didn't expect him to evolve in the middle of a fight. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Sheer tooth? Let's go, Chico. Let's freaking go. What a beast. What a freaking mammal of an animal. What a beast. Oh my gosh. Let's go and Powder Pit leveled up. Let's freaking go. Sorry, I'm super excited. That was my first evolved Coromon. And it's the main Coromon we have. It is a monster. Let's go. It's huge too. Oh my gosh. Very effective. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. I'm so happy right now. I'm actually really happy that Chico was the first one to level up. You know, being that it's my first Coromon I picked, being that we've gone through this journey since the very beginning. Hasn't even started this journey that much, but the fact that we're here now, it's pretty awesome. And now I'm more hyped than ever. Please hit it. Gosh, okay. It's not letting me hit this Coromon. Which sucks, because Coromon, uh, you know, this is my favorite Coromon. Let's try one more time. Okay, we got at least to hit it. Okay, we'll switch out after this one, though. We'll stand this hit. We'll suffer from the poison. We'll be fine. I'm going to switch to another Coromon. Um, I'm going to switch to one that can probably level up soon. I think it's going to be Buzzy here. Now, I'm not too concerned, because I know Buzzy might fall here. But at the same time, it will be able to 
use double sting first, which in turn can do a lot of damage. Like I said, it did a lot of damage. If it's one hit, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, if it's one hit, they'll take it, but sun the cards today, folks. Uh, let's go with another weak, weak Coromon. I think Birdie here can at least use Fast Strike and hit it. Like I said, okay, good. And with that, trainer's gone, down for the count. Okay, level nine, let's go. Coin Snatch. Stealing coin for three times, not a big deal. But he does level up here, which is actually good. Chico, I didn't expect to level up because he already leveled up. The elements of surprise was supposed to give me an advantage. I'm sorry for you, I'm a, I'm a beast of a trainer. All right, so we can push this one more time, which we will. Uh, there's something here. Skill flash four. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were able to, with all that being said, this was the right location. I guess not. Okay, so. Oh man, there's so many fights. Okay, um, I did say I want to go down here regardless. So we'll just grab this and I'll meet you back upstairs. I didn't encounter any battles from that so far. All right, so my next bet is going here. I did go down this way. I didn't go this way. I'm not sure. So I think we can go... Okay, so we are going here. I'm not sure if this is the right way. I, I'm actually a little lost in where to go. So bear with me, folks, if I'm completely lost here. I'm going to remove any fluff I find along the way because, I mean, let's be honest, you don't want to see everything, right? We went through this person before, right? Yes. Okay, we went through you. There is something down there. We took that trainer out, but we didn't go this way, if I'm mistaken. Okay, we got another Lux Recall. We can go this way. Hmm. All right, I'll be right back, folks, when I figure out where to go. So I feel really silly, guys. I am back. I've been probably doing this for about 30 plus minutes now, trying to figure out where to go. I didn't realize where the girl was when she says boo you just have to go through some extra steps going upwards and you're at the staircase here if i knew this was the case i think this is where we have to go i literally went around i even had the opportunity to go back to heal up all my coromon in a health center so it, it tells you that i've been doing this for again about a long time so we are back again i'm probably gonna skip out on some of these some of these battles per se because i don't want to encounter all the wild coromon i got through the darkness i feel unbeatable now I feel defeated, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel slightly defeated because I knew at one point I'm like, okay, I'm not fully lost. I've done this before. I played games where you do get lost and you have to look at like a guide. I didn't want to do that. I knew I just had to keep trucking forward. I had to just find out where the next bit is and I finally found it. Oh my gosh, was it ever a disaster trying to find it? At first I'm like, should I look at the guide? I'm like, that's not the intended way to this. It shouldn't be that difficult. I remember for Final Fantasy VIII, oh my gosh, there were some parts where I'm like, where do I even go? But anyways, we're back in action. We're taking on a trainer. I feel a lot better that we're out of the darkness. This is probably the right way. That is the evolved form of that huge sucker. I think we uh, that we have the armadillo. That thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Hopefully this doesn't do a lot of damage regardless of the move. Yeah, okay, okay, it's good, it's good. Open up a wound, attack, increase. Okay, this should at least take it out. So I'm not too worried. So it was kind of a hard journey under there. I was kind of getting frustrated because each few steps you were gonna encounter a new Coromon, right? guess I'm still beatable. Yeah, you always were. So yeah, it's been quite a bit of a long process, but we're here now. Nothing is stopping us anymore. We can finally move forward. I will skip all of these. Okay, so we're just gonna keep getting all these chests. Uh, there is a trainer back there and I'll be damned if I don't face this, so I'll take this person out quickly. I was stuck on the previous floor, but I'm sure I have a stronger squad as a result. You and me both were stuck on the previous floor. I had no idea where to get out of there. I'm even surprised I got out of there, to be quite honest. It was a disaster the whole time. Oh man, okay, anyways, we're, we're moving forward now, not backwards, you know, we gotta keep pushing. Never freaking stop. Because these games, like, there's games where it stops you where to go, and you just have to keep finding ways, where's the next area, where's the next area, where's the next area? But I finally found it, I finally found the area, and so we're here now, I'm gonna keep going forward. My intention before stopping this video is to reach the end, and by the end, I think there's a huge core amount that we take out. I'm gonna leave that to the next video, though. This video will be a little bit longer. But with that being said, I'm gonna probably cut up some parts you don't need to see. Okay, the lick. So we'll just take it out here. Go to the next Coromon. Probably will be another, I don't know, Coromon we've been seeing a lot lately and down here. Because all these Coromons are ones that we have countered in the wild. Except the first one that the trainer threw out of us. This is an easy one to take out. I think if I use this, it should be fine. Out for the count. Yeah, it has a lot of health though, I must say. For level 12, 42 health, it's a lot of health. And we're level 21. She goes pretty strong now, I must say. Actually, Powder Pit is pretty up there too. He's actually level 20. 
You must have been stuck in the dark for even longer than me. <laughs> You're right. You're for sure right. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. You're not wrong. I guess that chest is gonna stay there forever. I'm not going around to pick up that chest. I am sorry. Ooh. That's an interesting looking Coromon. Okay. Going towards the end goal, hopefully. Let's take you on. Let's go. Work up in the power tower. Draw my break. I like to go down there and challenge other battle researchers. Good luck. I'm on break now. You're on break now, aren't you? Two Coromons. All right, let's see what you got. Fiddly, we faced this before. Again, I'm just gonna attack it normally. Not a big deal. I don't think it's effective. I think it is actually, I'll take that back. Yeah, it is effective. Okay, hopefully this next one takes it out. I'm not sure when it's toughened up. It's kind of like iffy. Like I might hit it, I might not. We'll see. Okay, good. One Coromon down. What's the next one? Come on, show me. What do you got? Hundus. Oh, uh, we fought these before. Down for the count. Easy does it. Okay, another milestone sheet. I got a lot of these milestones. It's not much power of the break, but I'm beaten. Huh? Yeah, you're, you're, you got beaten up pretty bad. Okay, I actually want to go here. I did think there would be something here. We got gold from that. I'm actually really happy that I went down there to check it out. It tells you that sometimes you gotta go with your intuition. All right, that was simple. Let's keep going forward. Let's try to make some leeway before getting stopped. Ooh, what is this? Where are we at? Fuse room. Puff, puff, oh! Are you locked, dude? <laughs> He's locked. Poor guy. What materials did we use in the construct of this door? Come on, you got this. Hello in there? Are you Thomas? Why, yes, I am. You must be the battle resource that Nicola sent. Finally, a friendly face. I need your help to escape this room. The only issue is I had to break the circuit board in order to throw off my pursuers. Oh, we need to put the fuse box in the emergency mode. This only can be done by overcharging it with enough power. The fuse box should be in your left. Can you see it? Yes, I do. Yes, it's there. Wonderful. You need a quorum of electric type attack. Otherwise, it will give you a nasty shock. Here, I'm going to shove a couple electric spinners under the door. You can use this to increase your odds of getting an electric quorum on. Oh. Do we have one? Please get me out of here. You reached your first checkpoint. This means you can quickly travel between the entrance and the checkpoint by leaving this room. Keep an eye out for the checkpoint reach indicators. Uh, I think we have the right quorum on. Wait. What the freak? Uh, huh. Can I bite it? Um... I'm just gonna keep attacking it. I don't think I need to use anything with electric. I think it would just do a lot more damage because it keeps being discharged, which is a lot of damage actually. So I think we could just take it out quickly. I think electric would be essentially something to take it out faster. That's what I'm assuming. I don't mind if we fall down here. It's gonna keep using quick charge though. That's a lot to heal up. Let's see if we can hit one more time here. Still a lot of damage though, nonetheless. We'll go down here. That's okay. It is fine by me. Actually, we can hit one more time here. Let's go. Chop. Yo. There we go. Later, very interesting fight. Never in my wildest dreams. What I think would fight a fuse box. Okay, now what? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I thought we actually had to capture one. It caught me off guard there for a second. All right, you got me, game. You got me. I'm like, what? Huh? What just happened? Did I fight a fuse box? Freed me. My gratitude. Being in such a small room was starting to set off my claustrophobia. Thankfully, my invention, the essence locator, is safe now. Those strange thugs can't get their grubby hands on it anymore. Huh? Can't assume they're totally gone though. SLF was your name, right? You seem like a strapping young person. Do you mind scoring me back to the lab? No problem. I'll make sure we get out of here safely. Great. One more thing. These people believe that I have the SS locator, so it would be better if you hide it in your backpack for now. Yeah, good call. Off we go. All right. Quickly, before we do that, let's grab this. Some HP cakes. I see another chest over there. I noticed we can go here. I will go there eventually. Um, I'm actually going to go there after this. I might just check what's under there. If it seems to be a little bit longer of a process, I'll just go out of my way and just try to just escape quickly. HP cakes. Oh, these are medium cakes. It's pretty huge, actually. What's down here? Oh, I see. It's a way to get out. Okay, let's get out of here. Komi cakes. That jump, though. Okay, we're here. Oof, what a place. What an annoying little sucker of an area. Got lost for like 30 plus minutes trying to get the egg out of there. Oh, man. What the... What the heck is that? The blue man? Well, hello there, Thomas. We've been expecting you. What the freak? Yeah, I'll be spooked too. Um... What in the world? Who are you people? The less you know about us, the better. <laughs> the ass is located. Hand it over now, Thomas. Yes, I think it will be in your best interest to give it to us quickly. What the heck? The longer you wait, the more people will get hurt thanks to our little experiments. Huh? I should not give it to your ridiculous demands. As this locator was created for the sake of research. Perhaps. 
Yet it's precisely what we need to complete our mission. I'm sure you'll never get your hands on it. I hid it away somewhere deep and dark. Somewhere you'll never be able to find it. Oh, are you so sure? I got Brawler, do it. <laughs> no problem, boss. Do what? This is for your future of the will of the left. What the freak? Oh, um. <laughs> I'm like, what? What? What do you do, Thomas? Yeah, I'll be like, what? Th Thomas will not be harmed, so as long as he helps us find what we're looking for. The future of everything rests in our hands. We must make haste. What the frick? Okay, bye. I won't let you leave without a fight. I don't believe you have the luxury to worry about us, fool. Worry about the lab instead. Our test subjects seem to be struggling to adapt to the new element. Or in other words, the inevitable future. Ha ha ha. If you wish to minimize the damage, I suggest you hurry inside. What an evil son of a gun. Well, what I'm going to do, folks, is actually I'm going to call it a video here. I do fantastically appreciate you folks sticking through me with this. I'm not sure how long this video is, so I do greatly appreciate if you guys have stuck with me this long. And until next time, everyone, stay classy. Bye for now.